What is up fit fam? Today it is Friday the 3rd of February. I made it out to go to an interview. This one is very, very potential. Has a very likely potential of ending the six month cycle. Let's hope it happens. I'll report back when I get done. It's gonna take an hour and 20 to get there and I don't know how long it's gonna take in order complete it let's get it done well just got done with the interview uh, took all of maybe 15 uh, 20 minutes uh, I think I did pretty well uh, there were uh, of course of course the uh, VP there was uh, a couple others there, uh, one of which I've worked hand in hand with, Stephanie Morgan. So, uh, well, I guess I'll see how it goes. So, uh, but there was someone that I didn't expect. Uh, someone that I think may steal it from me. But, may God be the glory. Well, let's head home and see what this goes. Maybe Monday, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, I may know something. So, well, let's head to the house and get uh, stuff ready for dinner and all that. What is good, y'all? Uh, sorry, I've been a little MIA. I've been uh, dealing with uh, personal stuff, but... Uh, uh, that include financials, uh, you name it, but, uh, I am going to be trying to do a little bit better on the upload schedule, I'm going to try to do at least three to four videos a week, uh, uh, <clears throat> although there are two important things. I will see y'all at the Arnold Classic in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, if you see me, don't be afraid to come up to me. Let's be friend. Let's actually connect on a deeper level. And two, my room is booked. I'm just waiting on if I do get this job. Uh, that I interviewed for on Friday. I do get it. I will more than likely about a month to two months out book the air fair. Also I've got all the other aspects I've got to plan out the logistics but I will be and am planning on going to the LA Fit Expo in Los Angeles. That is January 6th and 7th of 2018. So if you are planning to be out there, let's meet up. Let's exchange Instagram, Snapchat, uh, Facebook, whatever. Let's go ahead and start connecting and uh, planning this thing out. Well, I'm about ready to uh, take pre-workout and all that and head to the gym. Good morning. It is a little after 6.30 a.m. on February 6th, 2017. Well, it's the Monday. Let's stay motivated, but uh, I'm keeping my hopes up in anticipation that they do offer me this job. Uh, I mean, I think I am well qualified for it. So, well, I just mixed up my favorite BCAAs. And now I am getting ready to uh, head off to the gym at 
that time I will take my uh, megawatt V2 and uh, do a little ab and maybe some calves and then uh, we'll see what the day brings from there oh, oh I'll also be starting filming for my revolution series uh, today uh, so not, not the filming is taking a little while uh, I've been last week I was slightly under the weather and then traveling back uh, life it gets you in your way sucks but you only get one of you only get one life you gotta do what you can and improvise when you fail elsewhere let's get into it all right let's get real about something listening to uh, Andy Fusello's podcast on branding yourself what does that mean to brand yourself well what it is it is a representation that you put of yourself on social media why is it important because if you go to his podcast I will link it in the description below it go to that podcast and listen to it in its entirety is within the next five to ten years the way you portray yourself and the amount of impact that you are able to create on social media will catch company attention to those who may want to sponsor you may want to have you as an ambassador or may want to hire you or steal you away from another employer right now branding had not fully caught on yet and with branding you are not to portray yourself in any false or slandering or do you want to create any exclusions whether that be political or religious you want it to be all-inclusive because as as Andy says your social media profile will eventually be your brand and will be a replacement to your resumes not just to your resumes but the key to advancement in life I wrote a post on Facebook uh, earlier th uh, today it's uh, labeled success tip what you post comment like share tweet snap your cover photos your profile photos your avatars etc on any social media outlet will ultimately decide on how you perceive to be in one of the more uh, one of the one or more of the following ways one your characterization two your personality three your marketability four your brand worthiness 
five. Your higher worthiness. Six. Your drive. Inspirational, motivational ability. Seven. Your ability in its entirety. Your mindfulness. Your educational net worth. Your heart and soul worth. As I said earlier, personal references, resumes, educational background, and more will be a thing of the past. More and more companies are looking at your brand, your social media. And with time, more and more of your other qualifiers are being overlooked. Your, so your social media profile, not just Facebook, but Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, LinkedIn, Tumblr, MySpace, whatever will be your ticket to advancement. But I warn you. Go ahead and post those memes, those cheesy chain repostings, etc. But be advised, you'll have to undergo the repercussions that they may have looking behind, or one that you will cannot foresee that will cause irreparable blowback home to you and your brand. Your image on social media, again, is your new resume. In closing, just be mindful of what you post, tweet, snap, like, comment, on, whatever. Because all social media interactions are your new resume and identity. Well, I want to close this off as we all want to advance from the time that we were born. We had conflict with your siblings, with your cousins, with your fellow classmates to advance. One of the sharpest tools that you can have right now is to build your brand. That is your image on social media. It's not about followers, although some will believe the more followers, the more important you are and the better your brand is. That's not necessarily the fact. It could be exactly opposite. Because your social media should be linked in relation to real life. If you live an interesting life, you go places, you see things, you meet new people to connect and exchange your brand with, that's how all successful vloggers, YouTubers, Instagrammers, and the like do it. Just remember, how you act on social media reflects who you are in real life. And most companies, if not all, don't want to have someone representing their brand by being polarizing. 
because a polarizing person representing their brand will b drag their brand down. So, I hope this helps uh, in ex explaining branding. Uh, this will conclude Dime episode 12. So it's been a little while to get out. I've uh, been traveling. Uh, also, uh, been trying to uh, sort up some uh, job seeking stuff. So, until next time for Dime episode 13. Always have the desire, uh, always diamond, have the desire to inspire, motivate, and empower. God bless. Love and peace. Bye.